how much money should you spend on this project in total? Well, that's a pretty difficult question, but there's a few factors that is really good to think about uh, when you're sitting down to actually look at your budget and what your construction uh, budget's going to be, what your design budget's going to be, uh, and included in there is something that's really important is to have a, a project contingency. Uh, for new homes, uh, you should allow 10 to 15%. For renovations, maybe closer to 20%. And what this allows for is uh, price rises in materials, over, over um, ordering uh, or other challenges that the builder might have with other projects. And, and by including this uh, buffer in your uh, construction cost, uh, it really helps relieve because uh, some of the, the, uh, the pain points during the build, if you've kept that and not eaten into it during the design stage. So it's really important to listen really carefully to designers. They've got a good idea of what their recent projects have cost per square metre and they can assess and help you to see well, how you're able to really rein in uh, some of those prices. But another thing that uh, I find is really invaluable through the design stage is getting a trusted builder involved to price up the project. Uh, to help you get a real life market price of what that build is going to cost uh, because as we all know building material prices are so volatile at the moment so I really recommend getting a builder involved uh, through that process too.